Let's use Scratch to build a Python program with a practice exercise. Now we're going to use Scratch for the design and then challenge you to write the Python code. So you've seen already the programming concepts that you already know from Scratch and we've shown you the Python code of those concepts. So what is your challenge? Well, you need to create a league of teams and these teams have points. You create matches and you get the match scores from the user. So the person will enter the match scores. Now, with each match you need to calculate the points awarded for each team. If a team wins, they get three points. If they draw, they get one point. And if they lose, they don't get any points. Now you've calculated the match points, update those points in the league table. So for an example, we can use the current English Premier League. Now here's the top six teams. Liverpool, Manchester City, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Crystal Palace. So we're going to use Scratch to design the program and your challenge is to code it in Python. So we can go through the answer after we've done a design. So first in Scratch we're going to show you the challenge and then after that you can either build it yourself in Scratch if you wish or you can just watch our explanation to see the design of the program. But your challenge is to write the Python code. So let's have a look at the challenge in Scratch. There is of course many ways that you can do this but let's have a look at a way that we did it in Scratch. So here we have the league of teams the six that we showed you with the top of the English Premier League and their points. So we've got Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea, Crystal Palace and their points 24, 16, 15 and 14 for the three teams in 4th, 5th and 6th. Now when we enter a match we need to enter the home team and the away team and also the amount of goals they scored. Once we enter that we calculate the points for the match and once we've got the points for the match then we can update the league. We're only just updating the points we're not sorting the league at the moment. Now to check the program works we need to check a home win, an away win and a draw match. So in this example we've got three matches. So we've got the team in first place, Liverpool, for the team in sixth place, Crystal Palace, the team in fifth place, Chelsea, be the team Arsenal in third place, and Leicester who are in fourth, v Man City in second. And we're going to enter the three matches, the home team and the away team, the home score and the away score. If you look, you can see the points will update here, and these will update in the league. So let's have a look at the program running. So let's start. So how many matches do we want to enter? We want to enter three. So enter the home team. The first match is between Liverpool number one and Crystal Palace number six. And the score in this match is going to be 2-0, a home win. So you see our home team points three, away team points zero, and Liverpool's points in the league move from 24 to 27. Now enter home team Chelsea of 5, away team Arsenal of 3, and we want this to be a draw. So let's try 1-1. One, one. So our points change to 1 point each, and Arsenal and Chelsea's points are increased by 1 in the league. Now the last match was Leicester, number 4, away team, Man City, number 2, and this we need to try an away win. So let's try 
one nil to the away team, zero one. So now the away team get three points, the home team don't get any points. Leicester says the same, but Man City move from 16 to 19. So here's an example. We've entered the matches, we've calculated the match points, then we've added the points to the league. So we start off with entering the team and the team scores, which is input, which we know we can use the um, ask, the question and wait, and then we get the answer. So if you wanted to put a home score in, that would be a variable. We can make a variable in data. So we could call the variable home score. Okay, and then we could set that to answer. So if we put enter home score, and then when the user puts in the home score, set home score to answer. We need to do that again for the away team. So the away score, make a variable. This can be away score variable. And then we're going to set that to be the answer to the second question. So we can get the home score and the away score. Now, the second part, we calculated the points. So we can use the condition or the control blocks with the if then and else block. So what we want to know is we want to know if the home score is greater than the away score. So we can use the operators. So we want to know home score is greater than the away score. So if that happens, then we know the home score um, is greater than the away score. If we're going to have the points for the home team is going to equal three. So we can create another variable with home score points. So we're going to set the home score points to equal three if the home team wins. Notice here that I've used an underscore because in Python when you name a variable you don't want to leave a space in between the words. We use an underscore. So we can do the same with home score greater than away score. We can duplicate that. We want to know if the away team's won or if it's a draw. So we can use another if else statement. So first of all, if the home team wins, we make the home score points equal to three. Now, if the away score is greater than the home score, we need to set the away score points to equal three. So again, let's go back to make a variable. So we have a way, should be a way team, shouldn't it? Team points. Okay. So set a way team points to equal three. Now, if neither scores are greater than the other one, it means it's a draw. So we can then set the home team and the away team points to one. It should say home team points but it doesn't mind we're just going through the design of the blocks. So that's how we calculate the points. We can use the if, else and if else nested inside that in this example. So we've used our input we've used our control uh, if else now 
if we know the points, we need to update the table. So the at tables, the update table, um, we need the table itself, which is going to be a list. So we had a list of teams. So imagine if we have our teams, we had Liverpool, for example, and then we had Man City. And also we had a list um, called League. With the points in. So the points were Liverpool had 24 and Man City had 16. So for now we're just going to enter them as an example. So we've got our scores, we've got calculate the points, and now we need to update the list. So these have already got a value in, so we need to replace the item of the league with something. So the home team points, we've called the home score points, we need to add that. So we need to get the item in the league and then we need to add the points they've got from the match. So we need the operator plus. So we have the item Let's move that. So if, for example, the team in position one was playing at home, we could say, let's add the home team points. And if we duplicate that, the team in position two, if they were the away team, then we would add their points. So if we entered in a one all draw, then the points would be one for home team and points one for away team. And let's assume for now the team in position one is the home team, position two is the away team, and these points would add by one. So if we run that, we would probably use functions rather than run all this code together. So we would start off by creating the league, by setting up the league first because it has the points in. Then we would get the score of the matches, calculate the points, and then we would update the table. So that gives you an idea of how we design our code. So let's just try that with uh, a one or draw. Enter home score one. Enter away score, should be away score is one. So therefore we had home points one, away points one, and 2416 increased to 2517. So that gives you an idea of what we need to do. We need to set up the table first, then we need to get the input from the user, then we need to calculate the points, and then we use, need to update the table. In the demonstration we entered three matches, so let's have a look at the full range of blocks we did for the demonstration. So as you can see here, we start off by setting up the table. In Scratch, we can have some values still remaining from the program where we run it before. So we need to set up the two tables. In this one, we've got Teams and League. This is the original program. So we delete any previous values and then enter the details into those two lists. Then we get the scores, we ask for how many matches, which we entered three in a demonstration, and then we loop three times to get the home team, away team, home team score, and away score. 
So let's just move these out of the way. Now once we've got the match details, then we calculate points, which is the same as we demonstrated before. The only difference is at the end, we're going to broadcast update points. So when we update the points, you can see here, if I just move these out of the way, very similar to we see before, replace the item with the home team, so position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, with those points plus what's over, whatever value is already in the list. Do that for the home team and your away team. So that's updating the points. So we set the table up, we got the scores, we got the scores, we calculated the points. Once we calculated the points, we update the table. It's quite a challenge to build that in Python, but you understand the concepts if you've watched the videos. You might need to go back to reference some of the Python code in the videos, but good luck. We will bring out another video showing you solution, and that will be coming soon. So thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye for now.